today mainly we will be discussing pattern printing problems inside C. All of you are comfortable with such topics, pattern printing, nested loops and so on. First tell yes, me that. Sir. Okay. So let me, I think all of you are able to see my screen. Is it that? Yes, sir. Okay, fine, fine. So yeah, let's start off and I'm going to give you first pattern like this one based upon the value n equals to four, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. This is the pattern you need to print. Can you try this first? But how should this particular pattern be printed? Can you try this? I'm giving you two, three minutes. Think that how this pattern is going to work, how we are going to print this pattern and they, then we can discuss a little bit. Okay. How to go ahead with such problems. Please take two, three minutes, try to solve it. And then uh, we can go ahead. My voice is clear, right? To everyone. Is it that? Hello. Yes. Hello. Clear. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and try this pattern printing. And if anyone comes up with a solution, you can discuss here. Uh, sir, there must be two loops. First, for I uh, external loop must run from one to four, and inner loop must run from one to I. And we can just okay. print second one like J. We can print. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Rest of the people, are your logic same for this question? Rest of the people. Okay. How would you visualize? Just one has given me the answer. That's correct. How would you visualize this? What is the visualization? How uh, you have interpreted that there will be two loops and uh, each and every, each and every of the loop, uh, the, there will be an inner loop and based upon that, I have to print something. So see what is happening exactly. Let me uh, write it, right? One, one, two, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four. Correct. How can I just break this problem to sub problems? Can anyone give me the answer? Let me go line by line. Firstly, based upon the value of n, how many lines of output I have to print? Four lines. Am I correct? So I can say whatever is the value of n, n number of lines I need to print based upon that. N lines you need to print. Am I correct? Let's see what is the content of each line. Let's say my line number one is this. And then let's say my I. My line number two is this line number three is this line number four is this correct. Okay, fine. What are the contents of each line? Can you tell me all of you first is one, then one, two, then one, two, three, then one, two, three, four for each line. The output starts from one. Am I correct? For each line, the output starts from one and goes till and goes till the line number, right? For each and every line number I, you have to print what you have to print integers from one to I that's it as simple as that. Okay. Firstly, I have to maintain what, how many lines are there and what is the content for each line? This is the logic to solve this question. Let's try it out. So, okay. Let me have n equals to four. Let's say, and let me have int i j, right? These two fine done. Then how I'm going to go ahead. First me, what is the number of lines An outer loop will be there. That will determine how many lines you need to print. So I need to say for i equals zero, i less than n, sorry, it should be from i equals one, i less than equal to n and i plus plus. Then what's going to happen for each and every of the line. So let me comment it out content of each line, right? What will be the content of each line that will be determined or governed by an inner loop. So I can say for j that starts from one. Okay. The output will start from one will go till n. I'm going to say j less than equal to i j plus plus next. What should be printed? Print f. What should be the content that needs, uh, that needs to be printed? I can say percentage D and whatever is the value of j just print. It. The content will be printed by an inner loop through the variable j. Correct. J goes from one till I, whatever is the current content of J, just print it, correct? Just print it. Suppose that, suppose an entire line has been printed. Now, how can I go to the next line? How can I go to the next line? The slash and works in case of C. Okay, fine. Let me try printing it. What is the value that is coming? 
So one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Correct. We have uh, we got it. The entire output came out to be correct. One one thing we missed. What is that? The space, right? Let me just try this. Okay, so the space is coming, right? After the percentage D, you can try giving a space. The Jth value will be replacing this percentage D and entire thing In, inside the entire string. You are gonna get the value of first J then a space. So a proper spacing will be coming in, uh, for your output. First the output will be one, then one two, then one two three, then one two three four. Tell me one thing. All of you are clear with the approach with this pattern. All of you are uh, good with the approach of this pattern. Is it clear? Is it clear to everyone? Is it clear with everyone? You can text me over the chat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, all of you knew this. All of you knew this, or some of you are first time with this uh, this kind of pattern. Tell me that. Uh, okay, fine. First time, correct. Okay, fine. Let's go on and let's try another thing, right? Let's try another pattern. And this time it's going to be a star pattern. So I'm going to say again, the value of n, let that be equal to four. You have to print a pattern like this. Okay. Try to do this now. How this particular pattern is going to work. How we can print this. How we can print this? Uh, sir, again, there will be two loop. Outer loop run from 1 to n. Inner loop will uh, run from n to uh, le j less than equal to i and j minus minus. Okay, nice. So what's going to happen again? Let us try visualizing first. If there are n lines, if the if the value of n is four, then there will be four lines that needs to be printed, right? So let's see what will be the content of each line. Correct? How many lines first, and then judge? And what we need to judge then? What is the content of each line for i equals to one? The first line. Correct? How many stars we are printing? What is the content that gets printed now? They are stars. They are stars, right? So now for i equal to one. How many stars we are getting? We are printing four. Correct. For i equal to two, how many stars we are printing? Three. Okay. For i equal to three, we are printing two stars. For line number four, we will be printing just a single star. Correct. Four, three, two, one. So now tell me uh, how many stars should you print based upon the value of i? Based upon the value of i, how many stars should we print? Can I say based upon the value of i, n minus i plus one, this amount of stars should be printed. Can I say this? Let me try. I value of i is one here. So how can I derive the four? Four stars needs to be printed. What is the value of n? Four. Four minus one plus one. So exactly four stars will be printed for us here. Next, four minus i, four minus two plus one, three stars will be printed. Next. 4 minus 3 plus 1. 2 stars will be printed. Next, 4 minus 4 plus 1, right? Exactly 1 star will be printed for the last line. Correct? Let's try this. Can you try coding it, all of you? Can you try coding it? Okay, let me do it for you. Fine. So there will be n lines again, right? There will be n lines again. And now J will be running from where to where? J will be running from where to where? It will be going from, it will be going from 1. And how many stars do I need to print? Now see the J loop governs what? How many stars? How many times based upon the value of J? How many times the stars should be printed? If J loop runs four times, four stars will be printed. If it runs three times, three stars will be printed and so on. Correct? So what I need to say is that value of J should be starting from one. J should be lesser than equal to N minus I plus one and then J plus plus. That's it. Correct? Okay. Next, what we can do? What we can do? What we need to print here, we can print a star. Uh, yeah. And after a star, give a space. 
for better representation. Once we are done with printing a single line, I am going to go to the next line. Printf slash and takes it to the next line, right? Okay. Let me try running it. Okay, now we are able to see, we are able to see first four, then three, then two, then one. Such kind of starts, we are done with. Correct? Okay, any doubts so far, all of you? Do you have any doubts? For this question, do you people have any doubts? Then let me know. Okay, then let's move on and let's see. Now let's try printing this, something like this, right? Now again, let's say the value of n is 4. You have to print something like this. Try this now. Try this. How you are going to go ahead with this? What are your thoughts? How we can solve this? Tell me. Anyone? Suppose that I'm on the ith line, right? There will be, uh, there will be n lines exactly that needs to be printed. Suppose that I'm on the ith line here. Let us take this. First, let me take the case of i equals to 3. Then how the output is looking like as per you. Okay, so how you can visualize this? Let's see. Uh, let these be the starts. Right now, what's going to happen? Let me say we can have a grid kind of structure here, right? We can have a grid kind of structure. Fine. Now, how, what is happening exactly here for each and every of the line for line equal to one? We are able to see that there are no spaces. These blanks are what we call as spaces. So, what we can see for i equal to one, there are n minus i plus one, these starts, okay, these amount of starts, but before them, there are i minus 1 spaces for every of the line first you have to print i minus 1 spaces then n minus i plus 1 these amount of stars correct see here there are zero spaces and four stars now what you are able to observe here there is for i equal to 2 for line for line number 2 there are one star and sorry one space and three stars for i equal to 3 then again i am seeing that there are two spaces and two stars and again for i equal to for my last line, there are three spaces and one star. So for every line I, first you have to print I minus one spaces followed by N minus I plus one stars. Correct? All of you got me? All of you got me here? What we yes, need to sir. do to solve this question? Okay, let's see how to, how to code it. Can you try coding it, all of you? Can you try coding it? Take two, three minutes. Can you come up with a loop structure? How it's going to uh, look like? How it's gonna look like? Can you come up with a loop structure? All of you? Is it a possibility? Is it a possibility? Can you come up with a loop? Try this for two, three minutes, then I can code it for you. Okay, try. First try. Then let's see. Uh, sir, there must be three loops. Uh, outermost loop for I will run from one to four and i plus plus then second loop will run from one to i minus one and it will print space and then third loop will run from four to less than i and k minus minus okay let's see let's see see we are to print content of each line right so before going to the next line i should be completing the content first loop okay i will be breaking the entire content of the line into two loops. First loop, first loop, what I'm going to do, let my, let me use my J and this particular structure. First, I'm giving the spaces, utilizing the J loop, right? Give the spaces, correct? For J equals uh, one, J less than, J less than equal to I minus one, right? And J plus plus. What we have to give here first, we need to give spaces, right? 
So what I'm going to say, printf, printf give a space. That's it, given. Okay, again give, again utilize the same loop. You can utilize the same loop and now I have to give print the starts, post the spaces. So I can say for, now I will comment it to be starts. Now I'm going to say for j again starts from one, j lesser than equal to n minus i plus one, j plus plus, I'm going to say what? Print f a star, okay? And you can give a space, post this again. So yeah, none. I have done what? The two div divisions. First one was the space, another one was the stars, correct? Two divisions of my content of each line, I've broken them into two loops. Firstly, spaces, then stars. Once both of them are printed on the same line, correct? I go to the next line. That's it. Let me try running this. Why it's taking so late? Okay. Sorry, sorry. It shouldn't be this. There won't be no, there will be no, no spaces here, right? Spaces, uh, yeah. Now we are able to see an entire uh, right upper triangle inside a grid. We have printed it successfully. There is no problem at all. Okay. Is there any doubt so far you people are having for this, how it is working? Let's uh, have any of the ith line, let's say i equals to 3 for my i equal to 3, I'm initializing my j. I, I'm initializing my j to 1. And till i equal, till i minus 1, this, go, this loop is going to run for me. So j is equal to 1. The condition is true that j is less than equal to 2 for us. So I give a space. I give a space here. Next, what I do? Next, j goes to, j transits to transits its value to two and we give a space here again, fine. Then the loop ends, then this loop ends. Then again, then again, what happens? We reinitialize the value of J utilizing another loop. Here again, J starts from one, correct? And we print a star, fine. N minus I plus one. That means it's going to start from one. It's going to go till N minus I plus one. That is, I guess, uh, for n equal to four, it's going to be two again, right? So J will be transiting inside this loop twice and two stars will be printed for I equal to three. We have printed similarly for other lines as well. You can try utilizing these two loops. How many spaces, how many stars are going to get printed? Okay. Post, post these two loops are done. Print a slash and it takes me to the next line, right? Yeah. Something like that happens utilizing these inner loops. Are there any doubts with this question? How we printed uh, this particular pattern? Excuse this particular... me, sir. Yeah, tell me. Uh, so, uh, if uh, can we use if else statement inside the first, uh, second for loop here? You can. There is no problem. You can. Anything yes. that works for you can, but it's easier that you break it into divisions. That what about, what about how many times I'm printing the spaces first Then how many times I'm printing the stars then, right? There are two divisions for each line. Firstly, you yes, print sir. the spaces, then you print the stars. So this approach is quite a bit easier rather than the if statement. This yes, makes sir. you, this gives you a clarity a little bit more. Yeah. Yes, you can sir. use if else that if that works for you. Yeah. No, no issues on that. Any doubts further you people are having for this question, please tell me. Hello. All of you have understood the approach or not? First, tell me that. Hello. Yes, sir. Understood. All of you. Okay. Ayush is telling yes. Rest of the people. Rest of the people. Fine. Let's yes, see another thing. Uh, is there any doubt? Should I repeat? You can tell me. Please tell me. Should I repeat something? Should I repeat something to any one of you? Who, uh, if you cannot understand, you can tell me. Tell me here. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see for another question. Let's suppose again n is equal to 4. 
and you are getting a pattern like this. And okay, let me try a little bit more better visualization for you people. First is this. Sorry. And then Okay, can you try this once? How we are going to print the pattern like this, a pyramid kind of structure? Can you try this? All of you, please try to think how the solution will be coming. Then we can go ahead. Please try this. Any solution anyone got? Tell me. What are your thoughts? Again, let have a let's have a great kind of structure, right? One, two, three. Sorry, I don't know what happened. Sorry. I think it got erased. For n equal to four, we have outputs like this. Okay. Correct. Now let's have the grid kind of structure. What is happening basically? Now, how can you visualize this? Can anyone give me the answer? For line number one, what is happening by the way? And if n is equal to four, right? Four rows I have to print. How many columns should I print? How many columns should I print? Can anyone give me the answer? How many columns should you print? Two n. Is it that one, two, three, four, five, six? Exactly. Is it so? Okay, yeah. Is it so? Still verify. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if n is equal to four, I am printing two n minus one columns. Am I correct? Two n minus one. There are seven columns here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, how my output should be looking like? What do you think? How the output should be looking like? How the output first? How many spaces? Again, the spaces and starts concepts are coming, right? The spaces and starts concepts are coming. Now, how the... Uh, how you're gonna break it up for our line for line one? How many stars I'm how many spaces? How many stars I'm printing? Try breaking it up, all of you. For line one, how many stars? How many how many spaces? So in the beginning, there are n minus for each and every of the lines. Observe. First, here there are three spaces, one star, right? Then there are two spaces, two stars, and each and every star is separated by a space. Observe. In between each and every alternate stars, they, they are separated by spaces, correct? For i equal to 3, this, there is a single space. And for i equal to 4, there is no space. Can I say for any of the ith line, there is exactly n minus i, this amount of spaces that needs to be printed, followed by how many stars, followed by i stars. Okay, tell me, can we strategize that for any of the ith line, first you have to print First, you have to print n minus i spaces, continuous spaces. Then I have to print exactly i stars. And after I print a star, I have to give a space. That's it. This is what is my requirement. Can we strategize like this? Let's see now how we can print the entire pattern of pyramid. See this. For n lines, I have to print, right? For n lines, first, how many spaces? There are n minus i spaces. First, you need to print this. Okay, done. First, I print the spaces. Then what I do, I print exactly i stars for each line. There are i stars for each line, correct? And once you print a star, you give a space. That's it. That's it, nothing else. And then you go to the next line. Let me try running it. Is it coming good for us? Is it coming good for us? First one, then two, then three, then four. Everything we have successfully printed. Any doubts you people are having, please tell me. For whatever patterns we took right now, any doubts you people are having, please tell me. Anyone is facing any doubts with these patterns? No, sir. 
you can take this code. Whoever requires, you can take this code. Okay, fine. Let's have a little bit change in the question, right? Let me just twist a problem for you people. What we can do is now my star pattern is looking like this. Again, the value of n will be given to you as now the value, let's say, of n is given to you as 4 only, right? Let's say 4. Value of n is given to you as 4. Now the pattern is looking like this. Correct. Sorry for this, just a minute. Now you have to print the pattern like this. Please think how we can solve this. How now the entire pattern needs to be printed. Please try this all of you. For the first N lines, the output is same as that of the previous program, correct? What is the difference here? We are printing three extra lines, am I correct? First, there will be N lines, whatever we have printed, that's gonna be same. First N lines will be same, correct? Next, N minus one lines extra we are printing here. How we are printing, see, the first three lines that we have printed, they are going to be printed here in the reverse order. Whatever, for the first n minus one lines, whatever we have printed, they are going to be printed here in just reverse order. Here, whatever were the contents for third line, they came here for the first line. For the second line, whatever was the content, it came here inside the second line. The first line content came here as the third line. So it's completely a reverse. It's completely a reverse. So for the first N lines, for the first N rows, the output will be same, whatever we have printed. Okay. For the first N lines, the output will be same. Now I have to reverse. I have to do what? I have to run this loop again, but in reverse order, right? I have to run this loop again, but in reverse order for the next N minus line for the next in minus one lines. Now what you need to do, I need to run my, uh, whatever were the contents of N minus one, right? They will be printed on the first line of my remaining part. And I should be greater than equal to or greater than zero. I can say, I can say I minus minus. Whatever was the content of my N minus first line, right? Inside the first part, whatever was the content, in the n minus first line, let me print it first. Then for the n minus second line, and whatever was the content here inside the upper loop, whatever was the content here inside the upper loop on the first line that will be going at the last line of my second part. So I have just indicated, okay, that y equal to n minus one, then n minus two, then n minus three, and so on till one. Whatever are the contents, print them in reverse order. Let me try running it. So what we are able to see, we have made a complete diamond. Is there any doubt with this? Please tell me all of you. Is there any doubt how the diamond is getting printed? First four lines will be same as that of my previous problem. Next n minus one lines, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? The contents what of the first n minus one lines, whatever I have printed, that's going to get reversed. So I'm going to run my loop from i equal from i equals to n minus one till i equal to one. Whenever I become zero, it's gonna, the outer loop is gonna end. So I am gonna, I have divided my entire program into two parts. First is for the first 10 lines, then is then for the first, for the last n minus one lines, right? This is what we have done. Take the code, whoever requires. Is there any doubt with this problem? Whatever we have discussed so far, are there any doubts? You can tell me. Are there any doubts so far? Please tell me all of you. No, sir. All of you, do you have any doubts? So are all of you aware of these patterns or have you done it for the first time? 
all of you are aware of such patterns what needs to be printed in c programming or some of you at least have done these things previously any doubts anyone is having i think most of you are silent no sir no doubt sure yes sir all of you what should i assume there are a lot of people right at least apart from me eight people of you are there understood everything whatever we have taken so far okay let's keep it till here and uh, try practicing a few more problems once you go out this is how this is how we break the entire contents of our patterns right firstly we decide how many lines and for each line how to break up if there are spaces we print it first then whatever is the content post the spaces we print them this is how we need to strategize our entire pattern printing okay then thanks all of you uh, let us keep it till here and if we continue uh, in the next session we can take more such questions